Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter, and in this video you're going to learn how you can begin using the Goal Flow report in Google Analytics. This report allows to see how people are traveling through your conversion funnel on your website. You can use it to identify where people are dropping off and having other issues converting. Let's get started. Here we can see the Goal Flow report in Google Analytics. You'll find the report under Conversions, then Goals, and Goal Flow. We're looking at a Goal Flow report from the Google Analytics demo account. The report allows us to understand how people travel through to our Goal Conversion page based on our Goal Configuration. So you'll need to make sure you've configured a Goal in order to use the report. If you haven't configured a Goal yet, then watch my tutorial. I've included a link in the description below this video. Looking at the report, we can see each step that is defined in the Goal Funnel. We can see how many people travel through each step, where they drop off, and where they skip steps in our funnel. You can click on a step, which is called a node in the report, to see more details for that particular step. For example, we can click on the second step in the report to then see how people find the step and what they do after the step. By hovering over a connection, we can see how many people travel through to the next step. In this report, we can see that this has occurred 135 times. We can also see people looping back to the previous step. This has occurred 21 times. We can view more granular details about people's movements through our website by selecting a node and then choosing Explore Traffic Through Here. This allows us to view details for the pages people viewed before and after the step we've selected. Here we can see the majority of people navigate to the step from the basket and sign in pages. Red indicates where people abandon your website. Here we can see exits from the step have occurred 20 times. Now let's click on the breadcrumb to travel back to the default report. As we've seen, the Goal Flow report provides a visual representation of how people travel through our funnel. Each connection is relative in size based on the number of times people have traveled through the nodes or steps. So the more people taking a particular path, the larger the connection is displayed. You'll also notice that on the very left of the report is a dimension. The default dimension is source, which shows us how people find our website and then enter our funnel. You can click on this dimension to change it for your analysis. For example, you could select a landing page to understand how people travel through your funnel after landing on a particular page. Or you could select country to compare paths based on location. You can even apply segments to the Goal Flow report for more in-depth analysis. So that's how you can use the Goal Flow report in Google Analytics. As we've seen, it's really useful for identifying potential issues with your conversion funnel, including where people drop off at particular points and where they skip steps. This allows to analyze those steps in more detail and improve your conversion rate. This report can be really helpful when you're looking for opportunities to optimize your website. I recommend using Google Optimize to then run a test to understand if changes have a positive impact on your conversions. You can learn more about Google Optimize by watching my tutorial. You can find a link to the tutorial in the description below this video. Are you using the Goal Flow report? Do you have any extra tips you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.